everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I'd do another weekly check-in with you guys because it's just under four weeks until the half marathon. Um, so I'm going to go through how the week's gone, how I'm feeling um, and things that are helping me at the moment. Um, so it's really annoying because I'm actually filming on my phone so um, it's really annoying because sometimes I want to look on things but um, this week I'm guessing as you can tell, I think last Sunday, the vlog that you saw was my very first long run since my injury. As you can tell if you watch that, I was absolutely knackered, um, but I had to keep going, keep my training up. So my schedule at the moment is two short runs in the week and then one long run on a Sunday. Um, so what I'll show like after this little chit chat is all my like running vlogs for the rest of the time and whatnot, just giving you a little chit chat catch up. Um, so I was feeling knackered, I won't lie to you. Um, one thing that's really helping me is these bad boys, yay! So um, these are from Amazon, um, I think you normally like, you know when they have that £20 thing where you have to spend over £20 to get um, the item because it's like an Avon item so I bought a load of these. This stuff is brilliant. Um, I'm, I always use like Epsom salts and Himalayan salts, but I don't know what it is about these, but not only does it smell lovely, it works wonders. Um, I had my granddad's funeral yesterday, which was obviously quite sad. I'm, quite, I'm so tired. I'm still quite tired now. Um, but it was the first time that I'd worn heels since the injury. She's basically told me, like, unless it's really worth it, and it's a special occasion, don't wear them. Um, obviously, I wore them yesterday. Um, and my foot was quite tired so when I got in um, I just put in it says that you can either put two handfuls or um, if you really want it when it's like a really bad injury put half in so I normally put three handfuls in they do all different flavors so I want to get some um, different ones I want to get the Himalaya and I want to get all the different flavors um, but this honestly is fantastic um, so it's dead sea salts and it's got magnesium sodium potassium and bromides and honestly, like, it helps so much. It's whenever I just sit in this, like, I don't want to get out of the bath. And I'm not normally much of a bath person. I'm normally a shower person. Um, just honestly soothes my feet so nicely. Um, so I pro will probably, I'm going to be doing another long run tomorrow. So I'll probably have another bath afterwards. But this is really helping me. Um, at the moment, like, I'm all about recovery. So um, Tuesday I did um, just under five kilometre run because as I said I was feeling quite sore and I'm really wary at the moment, I'm a bit fearful, I don't want to injure myself again. So I did a just under five kilometre run um, and then I was sort of reading online so what I wanted to share with you is one thing that's really helping me at the moment is Pinterest. Um, if you go on Pinterest and like you just google what you're looking at, um, you'll always find things that help. So um, I've saved some pins. What I'll probably do, I've got a Pinterest, so um, I'll save like the pins that I've got for running. It's like got loads of different stretches. It's got loads of different um, like motivational things. So I'll link my Pinterest down below for you. Um, but one um, blog on there that was really helpful um, was um, I'll see if I can find the link. It's by a company called FFS. And it's a blog post on um, running a sub two hour half marathon. Um, so the blog that it's from is slimmingfitterstronger.com. Now I'm not really aiming for under two hours. I'm going to be happy. I think realistically um, I'm going to aim for two hours 20. Anything under than that I'll be absolutely chuffed. But I know I want to um, do two hours 20. Um, so he's got a blog post on this website which I'll link, obviously when you go on my Pinterest it's on there. Um, he says about trying to do it um, basically, and it's really helped me having this in my back in my back of my head, is that if you can do 10 miles in 1 hour 30, it gives you 30 minutes to run your last 5k. So obviously for me, I'm going to most realistically aim to do my 10 miles over an hour and a half and then do my last 5k over half an hour, so like 36 minutes, and it means that I should be able to hit my time. Um, he's given me, like, basically this post is really good because it gives you tips on running form. Um, it also gave me a little trick, is basically to run at 180 beats per minute, um, which is a really good idea. Um, 
So basically it says increase your running cadence to 180 steps a minute. So if you've ever heard of a metronome, it's basically this thing that does the beat for you. So it's like... It would be a great song if there was some music. Um, if anyone knows an app where basically you can have a metronome going at the same time as Spotify, let me know um, because that's really what I need. So um, what I've been doing is I've been playing the metronome um, just to get the tempo in my head and when I'm running 180 beats per minute I'm focusing more on my steps and not the power because I feel like that's how I got injured is because I was bang 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 whereas when I'm doing a consistent pace I can make sure that I'm putting the pressure on my front of my foot and if I'm going consistently the time is still the same if not better and because I'm consistently doing the same pace it means I'm less likely to feel injured so that has really helped me um, I've also found a running playlist which is about 10 hours long so it's perfect because I tend to get sick of the music it's 10 hours long it's by some random Spotify person um, and it's all 180 beats per minute and it works brilliantly so I'll link that down below as well um, so Tuesday I did just under 5 kilometers Thursday I did just under 7 kilometers um, and tomorrow so Sunday um, I'm going to try and do 14 kilometers because my aim is basically um, as that blog said if I can do 10 miles in about just well over an hour and a half I'm going to aim for because I want my time to be sort of two hours 20 then I'm, I'm going to be on the way to doing it um, so I'm going to go for a long run tomorrow um, and that's mainly what I'm focusing on at the moment is that and making sure that I'm not overdoing it on Tuesday I easily could have done like a five kilometer but I knew I didn't want to push myself and overdo it um, so I did like a, a less long run and I felt better for it because I wasn't worrying and pushing myself um, so yeah um, that's my plan I'm also like when I first started running I was doing like five runs a week just because you get that runners high and I just I overdid it so I'm doing three runs a week two short one long um, and I'm also really focusing on what my physios taught me so I'm doing loads of physio exercises as much as I can do um, I've added in some yoga so some stretches before and after um, and another blog I'll share with you which again will be on my Pinterest page is um, I found a blogger who's got some really good um, sort of really amazing like she posts a lot um, the website is called running for sweets um, when you go on my Pinterest it will all be linked for you and it's just a really good page because it gives you running tips stretches um, avoiding injury like she's obviously quite an experienced runner and I've been using her yoga little 10 minute yoga routine and that's really helped me as well um, so yeah I've been all about recovery as much as the running um, and I found that that's really helped me diet wise um, it's kind of changed because when I'm weight training I'm all about like upping protein keeping my carbs in check whereas now I'm running I am literally eating carbs 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 all the time just to keep myself Four because I find I've, I find I'm starving during the race, like during a race, during a run, before a run, I'm just constantly starving. So um, I'll link them down below. But I've basically also got a kilogram of jelly beans. Um, I've never eaten so many sweets and jelly beans, but I'm eating them midway through my run in my little running bag. I'll stop. I'll eat. I'll eat during just to keep myself full of energy. And they're like a short form of carbs so they just get burnt as soon as I'm running so I'm eating them a lot um, they're working really well I'm gonna do the dark chocolate hack again today um, tomorrow sorry when I do my run um, and yeah I'm trying not to be too hard on myself because everyone's commenting that I've lost weight like I'm eight stone now but I'm not really trying to actively lose weight the main thing I'm focusing on at the moment is giving myself enough energy to do a run so I'm carving up not trying to worry too much about it um, and yeah I'm just trying to make sure that I look after myself so these next few clips are going to be from my Tuesday run and my Thursday run and I'll also add in on the end all my reactions to my Sunday run um, so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video um, all my little vlog clips are going to come up and I'll see you guys soon hi everyone so it is now Tuesday the 13th of August Excuse the fact I look a bit hanging because I've literally just got off the bus after work. Um, not gonna lie, one of my figures at the moment, I'm struggling to find the difference between am I sore from running or am I sore from my injury? Um, I can walk on it, it feels fine, but in the back of my mind there's always gonna be a little fear that um, it might happen again. So um, what I'm gonna be doing today, 
Um, my short runs at the moment are normally five to nine kilometers. I'm just gonna go for a low level, so no hill work, five kilometer run. Um, I've got it strapped up just as a precaution to keep it flat. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you posted um, and hopefully I can walk. It's just a bit sore today. Hi, so, we'll so I'm back in. Um, today's run, I just wanted to do like I'm one of those people again that likes to push myself but I know there's a point so I've got a new strategy and I think it's working so I've been reading up I'm a bit running obsessed now so on Pinterest I found an article about how to do a sub um two hour half marathon um and they said you basically need to do 180 beats per minute when you're stepping so I went on um I think it's called a metronome if you go on google there's one built in so rather than focusing on like power I'm focusing more on my steps so I actually had like one of my fastest paces for like just under 5k ever which I'm really pleased with um because my main focus at the moment is steps and not I think at the moment I have a tendency to like stomp kind of go buff 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 like that whereas really I just need to go dee 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 because I've got short legs um so no it felt good um worked really well um I won't lie to you guys like obviously I'm a work in progress with my ankle I've been using some of the tape that basically my physio used but I've got it in a nude colour so I've been taping it up and so far she did say it's still going to make a clicking noise um I've got no swelling as far as I can see it's just a bit I think it's actually my shin that's the problem um it just feels a bit sore um I keep like I'm a bit worried about getting an injury again so I'm like frequently checking it like a mad woman but it looks nice and flat it just feels a bit like bruised like when I touch it whereas when I run on it it's completely fine um so I'm gonna do some work on it now um, and yeah, that's going to be my strategy is I'm just going to basically try and aim for 180 beats per minute. Doesn't matter how long my strides are, just basically just making sure I hit that and I should be okay. But yeah, I'm going to chill out now. Hello guys, so it's now Thursday. I'm off work tomorrow, so I've got a long weekend but it's on a bit of a sad note because I've got my granddad's funeral tomorrow. Um, but today's run is done. Nice little recovery run, but I'm still knackered. So I did um, just under seven kilometers, I think seven minutes and six seconds pace. It took me about 49 minutes, so I'm really happy with that. My next run is gonna be on Sunday. Um, my main focus again is my runs per minute. So rather than focusing on power, which I feel like is what did me in before, um, I'm going consistent and steady. Uh, 180 beats per minute um, I found some good playlists on Spotify so I'll link one down below which is perfect because it's basically 180 beats per minute and it helps me stay in time this is always my harder run just because there's more heels but yeah I'm really pleased with that I'm gonna have a treat meal tonight I'm gonna have a chippy tea I need a nice shower and I need to be so guys I'm back now I'm really pleased with my run um, my target was do 14 kilometers, but I was enjoying it. So I thought, um, aim to do my sort of target for 10 miles because some of the blogs I've been reading have basically said, once you do the 10 miles, which is 16 kilometers, the rest is just five kilometers and it's a doddle. So, um, so today I did just under, so just 0.3 of a kilometer out, just under 10 miles two hours and two minutes which I'm really pleased with because um, the route I was going on I thought it had a cycle path all the way down and it actually doesn't so at one point I was literally running through the wilderness um, and I had to like walk through it because I didn't want to injure myself I nearly got stung by a few nettles midway through as well so I'm chuffed to bits because provided I can do that on the day obviously it's all going to be just a straight path no interruptions no cars no nettles um i'll be aiming for a sub two hour 30 half marathon so yeah i need a drink um this water bottle that someone recommended me is basically a backpack with a water bottle built in i only filled it halfway and it was brilliant so i definitely want to fill it for two liters on the race day because it was a game changer um so yeah i need carbs i need food i need water and i'm done